Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step video in which we will show you some of the new features of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge home screen. Please note, Galaxy S6 screenshots and features may differ depending on your region or service provider. At the top of the screen you can see the status bar, which displays the network signal strength, remaining battery charge, charging status and time. In the middle of the screen you can see the installed widgets. Widgets are small apps that launch specific app functions, like the Google search bar. Below the Google search bar you will find apps like email, camera and play store. Next to these apps is the folder for Google apps. At the bottom of the screen you will find favorite apps like phone, contacts, messages and internet. Next to these apps you will find the apps icon you can use to access other apps on the device. In between the apps and the favorite apps areas you can see the screen indicators. The home screen has multiple screens. To view other screens scroll from right to left. You can also tap on the screen indicator icons to switch to that screen. When on the home screen, swipe to the right to open the briefing feature. The briefing feature can help you view the latest articles in several categories. To return to the home screen, swipe from right to left. To view the quick settings panel of the Galaxy S6, drag the status bar downwards with one finger. If you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, the name of the network will be displayed under the Wi-Fi icon. Also added is the new torch setting icon. Swipe the quick settings panel from right to left, then tap torch to activate the camera flash as a torch. If you want to clear any notifications displayed, tap clear at the bottom of the notifications listed. The home screen also supports new device theme changes and screen grid changes. You can apply various themes to the device to change the visual elements of the home screen, locked screen and icons. On the home screen, tap and hold an empty area or pinch your fingers together to access the available options. Next, tap Themes to see the available preloaded themes. To download more themes, tap Store. When you visit the theme store for the first time, please tap Agree if the Terms and Conditions disclaimer is displayed. You can scroll up and down to see other themes you can download to your device. Please note, you must have set up and be logged into your Samsung account in advance to download themes. You can change the size of the grid to enable you to change the number of items you wish to display on the home screen panels. On the home screen, tap and hold an empty area or pinch your fingers together. Next, tap Screen Grid and choose the grid size. Then tap Apply to confirm your selection. The Galaxy S6 Edge also supports a new method to create folders. To create a folder on the home screen, tap and hold on the app, then drag and drop it over another app. To create a new folder containing the selected apps, tap the area above the horizontal line and enter a folder name, then tap Done. To change the folder color, tap the color icon and choose a new color. If you are done, press the back key to return to the home screen. The new folder has now been created. Please note, to add more apps to the folder, tap and hold on another app and drag it to the folder. To create a folder on the app screen, first tap Apps. On the app screen, tap Edit. Next, tap and hold on an app and drag it and drop it over another app. A new folder containing the selected apps will be created. Tap the area above the horizontal line and enter a folder name. And then tap Done. To change the folder color, tap the color icon and choose the new color. If you are done, press the Back key to return to the app screen. The new folder has now been created. Please note, to add more apps to the folder, tap and hold another app and then drag it to the folder. To remove an app from the folder, tap on the folder. Next, tap and hold on an app within the folder and drag the icon to an empty space outside the folder to remove it. If you are finished, tap Done. Please note, if only one app is left in the folder, the folder will also be removed. 
That's it. You've just learned more about some of the new features of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge home screen. For more information about the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge and advice on how to use their features, please see our other available videos. Thank you.